problem is out of control. So much so that you've probably learned to ignore it. Maybe we even encourage each other to forget it. We imagine it as far away while it affects our own communities. We allow ourselves to forget about the cold, the disease, and the need. It can seem overwhelming, and so poverty housing has been accepted as normal. We couldn't afford to rent a room or a, an apartment. We stayed at our uncle's um, garage. So we had only one um, room where we all slept and we studied there, we eat there. And um, yeah, so pretty much that's our living room. In the United States, over one third of the nation suffers from some form of housing problem. Globally, the situation is even more dire with more than 1 billion people living in urban slums. If the problem is not addressed, the number will double in 20 years. We had nowhere to stay, so we lived in these slum-like conditions for over four years. We had no bathroom, no running water, and no heat. A lot of people forget what human rights means to most people on Earth. But if you ask the average person uh, in America who's deprived of, uh, of opportunities, or particularly overseas, what are the main human rights, they would start off, I would like to have a right to live in a decent home. We wanted to get out of the garage space. And um, have, a, have a real living space. like everybody else. The idea was and is a simple one. No handouts, no giveaways, just a little help. Volunteer labor, donated building materials, reduced or no interest loans, partnership. Since 1976, this simple idea has served nearly 500,000 families worldwide. This is what Habitat does. They see a need and they address it. They take action. I think it's, um, it, it's a life changer. It, it is. And it's a, it's a community builder. Habitat doesn't just give us the how. It, it gives us the opportunity to have our own house. Um, so we, are, we have to make payments on our own every, every month. You have to be able to show that you can afford to pay a monthly mortgage and your utilities um, and still put food on the table and gas in the car. The Habitat model works because it is designed as a sustainable graduated solution. Families apply and are selected based on their overall need as well as their ability to repay a nonprofit mortgage. Their monthly payment then returns to our revolving fund, moving on to help other families in need. I like it that sweat equity is a part of the foundational criteria that at the end of the day, all homeowners across the world can stand up and say, I helped build this house, nobody gave me the house. Yeah, so we had to do 500 hours to uh, call it our house, yeah. <laughs> Families receiving this hand up agree to work alongside and in partnership with Habitat for Humanity. Sweat equity is the investment a family makes in their future. Families spend up to and beyond $500 of sweat equity joining with volunteers from around the world to build their own housing solutions. My family was able to bond with the student volunteers that came to help us build. They really put their hearts in it the energy and compassion they brought with them made me weep with joy. Volunteers make the difference by picking up a hammer and helping to change lives, often gaining as much or more from the experience than the families they partner with. These partnerships provide a spark for community improvement. Our mission extends beyond the walls of our houses, and the results of Habitat's efforts are more than the sum of nails, paint, and wood. So a home is not just a house where you live, it's a home where you get all the energy you need in order for you 
to achieve in life everything that you can be. <laughs> I think in, in, a, in a generic way that um, the ability to be safe and secure and comfortable in one's home pays, pays every benefit that, that we can imagine to one's own well-being. You take a family and you put that family into a healthy living situation, a, a healthy home you will see improvements on the interaction between the parents and the children or the children and the children. You will see that they are better able to go to school because they're not having asthma attacks. You will preserve their intellectual function because they don't have lead poisoning. People's health gets better. The home is an epicenter um, in which people struggle to be well. Healthy, sustainable uh, behaviors that lead us to be physically well, psychically well, spiritually well often find their origin in the home. So it is, it is the essential, unwaivable prerequisite for many aspects of our well-being. So all of these things together make a difference in how well you will perform in school, what kind of a job you'll get after you're finished with school, how well you will proceed in that job, um, but also kind of like the day-to-day, -day, you know, something about life success is how you feel today. Are you happy? Are you productive today? Well, I was able to focus um, and get um, good grades and um, without enough time to study or have the space to study, it would not have been able to, for me to graduate um, from UC Berkeley and uh, go on with the process of applying to pharmacy school. An adequate environment fundamentally changes the foundation of a family. More than shelter, Habitat's programs build stronger families, improved health, and proper places for children to study and learn. Three of us already graduated. My little sister is going to school right now at City College of San Francisco. Every 24 hours, nearly 150 homes are completed with the help of our partner families and volunteers. The needs of these families are diverse, but so is the Habitat for Humanity solution. In addition to our traditional model, Habitat's partner families are served through programs including disaster response, government relations and advocacy work, as well as neighborhood revitalization and microfinance solutions. Without Habitat, we would still be living in those horrible conditions. There are not enough words to express my thanks. Thank you so much for um, helping our family and um, a lot of our fam other family like ours to um, be able to um, live with our own space and um, achieve our um, dream, be able to um, reach our goals with our lives. Yeah, thank you all. The transformation begins by building a new reality and creating opportunity. With the help of donors and volunteers, Habitat for Humanity is building brighter futures, secure foundations, healthier children, and stronger families. But the work is not done, and we need your help. Please donate, advocate, or volunteer, and discover what you will build.